Hi students, this tutorial is going to walk you through how to use the Screencastify extension to share your screen or some other type of presentation with your peers or teacher. So the first thing you want to do if you don't already have the extension is in your browser, you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. When I get here, I'm going to click on Chrome Web Store and the Screencastify extension is already in the for gnomestead.org section. All of these are extensions you are allowed to install. So we're going to click on the one that says Screencastify and you are going to select Add to Chrome and click to add the extension. You're going to wait a moment for it to install once it's installed, it's going to show up as a pink arrow up in the top right hand corner and this section will change to um, remove from Chrome. If you want to pin the Screencastify extensions, you can always find it. You're going to click on the extensions puzzle piece and click on the pin. The first time you use Screencastify, it will request some information and have you sign in. So you're going to select the arrow. You're going to click sign in with Google. Select to sign in with Google. Click on the your email address and then you want to allow Screencastify access to your account. From here, you are going to set up the permissions for camera and microphone and drawing and annotation. And then you're going to allow and allow. And then you want to click that you are a student. You need to either click that you are under 13 or 13 or older. Um, this is important for how they manage your data. And then once you've done that, you're going to get the hooray confetti. Now you are ready to start your first Screencastify. To do that, you're going to click on the arrow and you have three options for Screencastify. You can record just a browser tab, which a browser tab would be one tab here. You can record your whole desktop or your whole Chromebook screen, which is great if you have multiple things to switch between in your video or you can record your webcam. Here in the options, you can select if you have another microphone attached, you can choose another microphone. You can select to embed your webcam or hide your webcam. And then under more options, you have options to choose how many seconds of countdown you want before it starts recording, if you want drawing tools, and then if you need to record the system audio, which would be any videos um, or sound coming from the computer. Just be careful with this if you're also then trying to record the microphone. So we're going to record desktop. We're going to select record. We're going to choose which screen we want to record. I happen to have more than one screen. I'm just going to record this screen. Click share, it will count down three, two, one. And down here I have the ability to draw on my screen. I have an eraser. I can clear my drawings. I also have a pointer where I can highlight my clicks or I can focus my mouse to draw attention to things. You can turn that off. You can hit pause at any time to pause your recording and then hit play to continue recording. When you are finished, you will hit pause and then stop. If for some reason this toolbar goes away and you need to stop your recording, you can come up to the extension up here and you can also click the stop button up here. Once you finish your recording, you have several options. You can trim your video if you need it. You can watch your video. You'll want to give your video a title. And then you have an option to get a Google Drive link. 
or to share this to Classroom or to download or export your video. You also have the ability to use an editor which allows you to cut and combine different clips in your video and further edit things. When you are ready, my suggestion is if you are submitting a Screencastify video to your teacher for an assignment, that you come up here and under more options, you change your drop down to unlisted at N Olmsted, copy this shareable link, and then in Google Classroom, you'd want to paste that shareable link into your assignment. And that will get you started with using Screencastify. Look for further directions from your teacher about what exactly you need to do with this tool.